my microphone is off. Why? Oh, we're, look we're at there. there. So let's I'm try telling that again. you it's Monday. It is, it is tell- Monday. I don't care what the calendar says. Today's a Monday. It is. So we apologize for that. There was a button. Yeah, there, there's always a button. So once again, Good welcome to the morning show. I'm Chris Lee, <laughs> and this is Becca, a.k.a. the Pizza Fairy. And and when you saw me do this but couldn't hear what I was saying, it's I was going to wear my Pizza Fairy crown today, and I forgot it. You forgot your Pizza Crown Fairy. That's just I, terrible. I, yeah, It is. I did. It's terrible. I'll, do, I'll try to remember it tomorrow. So apparently, and, and as I said, it, and obviously we've already crashed today, <laughs> It is Mayday! 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 We're going down! Oh, oh I need man. some coffee to wake up here. <laughs> yeah, all right, good luck with that. Have fun. Wake As you can up. see behind us, Bugs has the right idea. With the coffee. Yeah, yeah. he does. If you if you kind of lean out just a little bit, it oh, says, well, the doctor say? says one uh, cup of coffee would be okay. Oh, and so, then, yeah, okay. Uh-huh, yeah. I like it. That's adorable. <clears throat> so everyone say, hello, Bugs. Hey, Bugs Bunny. So uh, that's that's super cute. So you said today is May Day. It's the first day of May. I wanted to know, it, it was raining out there for like maybe 10 minutes. It was. Earlier. It was interesting, yeah. yeah. I was not impressed. Neither was I. I was, it was a little disappointing. It really was. It really I, was. I'm not a rain, I'm a sunshine person. You are a sunshine uh, I'm a sunshine person. I have to be in the sunshine. But uh, it just made me think, today's the first day of May. And I was pretty sure the saying goes, April showers bring May flowers. So as far as I'm concerned, any time after April's over, it's not allowed to rain anymore. Well, we can see how your mind works on that, I suppose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, I don't think there was a whole lot of rain going on last month, was there? No, I don't think so either. Yeah, not, not, not a lot. But in a little today, there's supposed to, well, there was a 15% chance of rain. And apparently, that means it's going to rain. It rained for 15% of the day, maybe? Yeah, I'd say for about 15 seconds, right? That's closer, that's closer. (laughs) So um, it's also phone-in sick day. So Wait, wait, you can't phone in sick. Today is call-in sick to work day. So you officially have my permission (laughs) to call your boss and say, Hey, I I can't come to work today. (laughs) And we have the authority to do this. It's okay. Just blame us. We will take responsibility. I've called all of your bosses and cleared it through them. So yeah, today is phone in sick day. So uh, it's it's not too late. It's only seven oh six. So uh, it's not it's too late. It's too early to be awake. It's it, well, that's fair. Why are we even here today? <laughs> because we didn't phone in sick. I can't phone in sick. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are those kiwis on your ears? Oh, they are. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this or not here, but they she's got kiwi earrings. <laughs> kiwi earrings. Look at it. I, I do. don't know if you can see that. I could zoom in, but I can't get no, past you to good. get to the cameras yeah. up here. So, yeah. yeah. So, but the, she's wearing kiwis for ears. I was I was trying to feel a little summery today, and kiwis are kind of summery, and then uh, then it rained. So. And then it rained, and then it rained. I blame okay. the kiwi earrings, really. Uh, is 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 what happened? <laughs> oh, we've got some comments so, here. Yeah, welcome uh, to everyone who. Alyssa who says. Us. Alyssa says, uh, can, "Can see you but not hear you." Yes, <laughs> no. that would be the button malfunction. We do apologize for that. She Thank says, "Okay, you. there it is. Yep, <laughs> we we found the button. Good morning, it is Sandy. the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's the morning." Unfortunately, these things can happen from oh. time to time, especially when I am behind the wheel. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to say that, but... Well, you know, I mean, it's my show. I, I've got you large take, shoulders. I you, can take you it. You take responsibility for yeah, it. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll just be here to, to laugh at things and uh, and talk about funny things. Uh, oh, okay, well, talking about funny things is fine, but laughing at me, I get that all the time anyway, so well, it's just uh, not nice. All right, I'll try not to laugh at you too much all right, today. All right, okay, all right. Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> I might phone in sick from not laughing at you today. Okay, but but if you phone in sick, you're like literally sitting next to me. I'll I'll know you're you're full of it. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out my cell phone. Call you. Yeah, hey, call me. Chris. But I then I got to go get my phone. My phone's I, way over there. <laughs> I can't make the show today. <laughs> I'm real sorry. It's it's May 1st, which is phone in sick day. So, sorry. So, it's it's May day. Is, does that mean there's going to be May flats? I hope not. Right, no mayflies. No. Well, speaking of mayflies, we covered uh, last night on the news. I don't know if you if you caught this or not. It's it's kind of interesting. Apparently, there are not enough bugs in the Colorado River down towards Lee's Ferry, and all of the fishies are starving. Uh, aww. So they've come up with a, a an ingenious plan of slowly letting out the water instead of doing it. Basically, what happens normally is they let out a bunch of water. 
and then they, they reduce the flow. Then they add a right. bunch of water, and so the water keeps going up and down like artificial tides. Okay. And so the bugs lay all of their eggs along the bank just under the water, or just at the, at the surface of the water, and then when, when the water goes down, all the bug eggs dry out and they all die. <clears throat> oh. And so the fishies don't have anything to eat. So they're yeah. talking about really skinny trout and all kinds of other things. So what they're going to do is actually reduce the amount of water going, well, of going up and down. So they're just going to let out a slow, steady stream, oh. and then they're going to uh, release higher amounts later so that the, the eggs are laid at a lower level. That's cool. And so you're going to have midges, black flies, mayflies, and all kinds of other bugs that are going to be multiplying down there. So the fish will be eating, but the bugs will be eating you. I mean, good for the fish, though. Yeah, good, good for the good fish. Good news for them. Yeah, there, there was a whole news Go article fish. on it last night. It was pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, that's, that is cool. <clears throat> yeah, my, minus the whole, I don't, I don't know if you've been bitten to death by midges before. No, I don't even know what it, what's a midge. It's kind of like a mosquito, but it's really tiny. So like a gnat? Kind of, except they bite. Oh. <laughs> That doesn't sound fun. No, not I mean, really. one of the things I enjoy about living here versus living in a place with humidity is that we don't have to deal with nearly as many bugs. Until you get out in the desert, like up in the higher right. areas, when you go camping at night, you've, you've seen it. Yeah. There's bugs everywhere. It's like yeah. right as the sun goes down, <laughs> there's a huge cloud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. I was driving the other day, and I just, just, like, alongside the road. I don't know if they were having some, like, gnat meetup or something, but there was just a big cloud of gnats right above the sidewalk along the side of the road. Oh, I hate Have you ever done that when you're walking down the sidewalk, and you're just like, just la, 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 and then, <coughs> <coughs> and you get bugs in your mouth? Gross. Or you sniff, and it goes up in no. your nose, and you got bugs crawling Ew. around your sinuses? It's terrible. Nope, don't want it. Terrible, terrible. Don't want it at all. Nope. 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 So uh, I, I was looking up some things today uh, okay, right. to share on what the got? show. What you got? Uh, the first thing is a video. So we're going to have to... Oh, you want gonna, a video we're now? We're going to have to do that. All right. Yeah. Hold on. i got to find it now. Can we do this? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So do you, want, you we'll have to put the video back here, I think. Um, That's fine. Let me will see. Will we be able to hear sound from the video? Um. Well, you know what? If I push the right button, maybe. <laughs> there, there is a good possibility. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to go like this. And then, where where it's, is your video? It's over here, right it's here. It's over here. This is that the video one. there. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, it logged me out. See, oh. if it'll, see if it'll still play for us. So, so is this, this it here? Yes. So okay. the story is, uh, it was in, in Houston um, traffic, and basically this guy, uh, it, it was rush hour traffic, so traffic was moving super slowly. Uh, this, this guy in the okay. right lane wanted to merge over and the, the other guy in his car was videoing and he said let's play rock paper scissors and if you win i'll let you in front of me <laughs> and uh so he got the whole thing on video and uh it, it actually uh is not gonna come up for us but that's okay um that's we'll, we'll have to maybe like share it or post it after the after it the show pretty, okay uh, but it actually worked you could get the video of the guy and the the one who wanted to work merge one so he's like all right go on and it's just, just blown up. It's completely, this guy has gotten a million views on this video. He's been interviewed by the news. He's been oh, like, trying to be <clears throat> in contact with the other driver. And the whole thing is just really, really funny. <laughs> That's uh, pretty funny. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a really, like, a really cool way to deal with being stuck in traffic. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I want to see this. Uh, okay. Marco Sanchez was That's it? his name. Yeah, Sanchez. the guy uh, who posted the video, Marco Sanchez. Um, you're going to have to scroll a little bit to find it. Oh, there uh, it is, right there. Oh, maybe not. There you go. Is that it? Yeah, there's the video. Right. So let's see if we can make this work then here. Yeah. Oh, there look at is. that. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll just take a little bit of this off here. All right, like <laughs> this. Oh, no. And then a little, oh, well, you know what? We can make it big. Yeah, yeah, do maybe. that. Oh, ah, oh, no. We'll make it big. Oh, there we go. oh that's terrible. Trying to get... Uh-oh. There, there's, <laughs> there's somebody pushing a button. All right, there we go. All so right, I'm gonna go ahead. It's a real short video, but I thought it was really funny, and it's it's blown up. It's gotten so many views. Yeah, it has gotten. Two point six million views is what that says right there. Two point six million views. Wow. Two point six million people have watched this video since like Saturday. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got it up, and then we have to unmute it here. All right. And theoretically, you guys will be able to hear it out there. Let's see what happens here. All right, hitting the play button. You trying to get in? Let's play paper, rock, scissors for it. Paper, rock, scissors. I'll let you in if you win. Come on. Something. 
Ah, go for it, man. <laughs> He's playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> ah, play for rock, right, scissors for this guy. Don't let this guy tell you. I think that was so hilarious. Uh, Alyssa, Alyssa has a comment over here. She says, I think it's funny they call it rush hour when you're literally inching along. You know, you got a good point with that one there. This <laughs> rush hour. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's a rush because you're so excited to be sitting there uh, doing absolutely nothing. nothing. No, no. Is it no? I couldn't. No? Okay, all right, well. <laughs> I get frustrated with rush hour here <laughs> <laughs> when school lets out yeah, and yeah. you can't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm never going to make it in a big city. This never. Definitely not. I would not survive. <laughs> no, I think they need you alive. I would Although rock, you've got the rock, paper, scissors thing. I would rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Yeah. yeah, I would. Everyone, everyone. I'd have a sign on the side of my car. <laughs> Does you want to get in rent? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. All right, that's. All right. that's gonna be the new uh <laughs> the new game uh please rock paper scissors and drive uh, responsibly <laughs> yes definitely <laughs> would that be considered hands-free driving i'm i you know <laughs> i'm pretty sure probably recording the video <laughs> yeah he's, he's got a video here the steering wheel here and he's trying to do the rock paper scissors <laughs> over here so he's not sure if that's exactly the safest thing to do in the world. Maybe, Although it is maybe not, but it's really fun. What a creative way to uh, <laughs> to make it through to defuse uh, road rage. Out. Yeah, defusing road rage right there. Yeah, I wonder what he would have done though if the guy would have lost. <laughs> Who do you? <laughs> that's what I want to. You start doing just... like bumper cars or something. Like, no, it's mine. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> You just go anyways. I'm sorry you lost, man. So, yeah, what I want to know, uh, this this could have been an entirely different video. It could have been. If the guy in the other car <laughs> lost, and then he just got mad because he lost. That could have been honking and what, cussing. Well, you know, then you could get the rock, paper, scissors, except he's throwing a rock at your car, maybe. <laughs> I, you know? <laughs> so you just, like, drive around with a bunch of rocks in your car? Maybe. Why not? What if he works for a construction company? You don't know. All right. It could happen. I've got rocks in my shoes right now. Fair enough. <laughs> You're going to take in, in... Okay, we're talking about the safety of recording a video. <laughs> and you're taking off your shoe, uh -huh, uh -huh. digging around for a little pebble, yep. and then aiming it at the car next to you. Well, no, if, at that point, I'd probably be so frustrated to just throw my shoe at him. <laughs> <laughs> you might need that. Yeah, maybe, but, you know, I'm, I, I'm in the car, so, you know, technically I'll be all right. All right, all right. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> all right. Well, I just wanted to point that out, though. Oh man! Well, I uh, thought I'd thought I'd share the uh, rock paper scissors. Marco Sanchez. Is Marco this guy's Sanchez. Name. That's, that is pretty funny. A super funny video. It kind of went viral. Uh, a little bit, yeah. A couple lot. million views. That's pretty. That's, uh, that's pretty good yeah. for, for Facebook stuff. There, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> super, uh, <laughs> super funny, funny stuff. Oh no. All oh, right. you're not supposed. Oh, to I'm see not supposed that to. I, all yeah. I did was, no, here, was see a body. We'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop was, stealing my coffee. This is you, mine. Your coffee was in my way. Uh, no, no, this is my area. Everything uh, is mine. That means you're in my way. That's that's. No, okay, that's, all, all right. right. Just so you know, right. I gotta concede to that. I all right, good, good, good. Fair enough. <laughs> all right, um, so apparently you have pulled up some things for us today. What do we have? Um, uh, yeah. So the that was one of them. Uh, the second one, um. I don't know how to segue it. I don't know how to make this a smooth transition. So oh, We don't have smooth transitions here. That's not the way that works. It's like, bam, all right, we're going on to the next, next. thing. Yeah, all right, totally. so the next thing that I thought uh, that I found that was really funny, and I actually, now I have a little more information on my phone thanks to uh, Lois. Uh, oh, Lois is involved in Lois this. Lois is involved. She helped oh, no. me. She helped me uh, get a way better um, article on this. This event that's happening in Texas. There's an event happening in Texas. It's, uh, yeah. Is it like uh, playing tennis with the giant bugs? What? Well, you know, in Texas, everything's bigger. Have you ever been to Texas? <laughs> the I'm... bugs are like small helicopters. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, they're very dangerous. And you got to carry around a tennis racket, not a fly swatter. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, so that's what you, is that, is it like a, you know, a professional, you know. No, but it is an athletic event. A, athletic event. Okay, well, technically that would be athletics too. It, all right, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hence the tennis racket. Well, well, there you go. So, you know how uh, 5Ks have kind of become a big 
a big thing, especially novelty 5Ks. They've got like the color runs, they've got mud runs, they've got oh yeah, the whole the, 5K. Is, yeah, it's like the, <clears throat> the whole health green movement thing. <laughs> yeah, you got gluten free, you've got all natural, and all of those are just buzzwords. And now everyone's doing 5Ks. Wait, how many miles is 5K? It's like 3.1 miles, something something along those lines. A little over three miles. A little over three miles. So basically. If you're here, anywhere in Page is never more than three miles from any other point. So you could walk to wherever you're going and accomplish one of these these five Ks. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. But oh, it wouldn't okay. be as fun. Well, I, okay. I, be, I, because you're because you're making it exciting, the walking is actually fun now. Yes. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Right. And I I will I have to admit I have done some of these five Ks. I've done a color run. I uh, do remember that. Oh, Wasn't there maybe, a tutu involved? There was uh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For those of you that don't know. She likes her tutus. I there there I are almost, a great deal of them. Almost wore a tutu today. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> nobody could see that. I know. You could be like, wearing no pants and nobody would even know. Yesterday I had on bright pink fuzzy polka dot pants. Yeah, she was wearing her PJ pants because knew. she's been up all night yeah, and I'm just waking up. So we're crossing like pants. We're opposite ends of that spectrum. Well, I we're kind of like Merlin, you know, you're, you're living backwards, I'm living yeah, forwards. And we met, we meet each we other every middle, day. We met in the middle, yeah. 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 I haven't... Haven't haven't been to bed yet, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> well, uh, not with that monster you drink. No, huh? I did drink a whole monster this oh, morning. Oh. Yeah. You're drinking coffee. I don't want to hear it. I'm waking up. What's your deal? You're supposed to be going to bed. I have to stay awake. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, that's why she's here, just yeah. to stay awake for you guys. That's exactly. So so back to 5Ks. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. So, 5Ks, 5Ks. Yes. So, so like I was saying, I have done a couple of them, and they're super fun. I am not an athletic person. Uh... In any way, <laughs> ever, um, but doing a 5K, uh, especially one of the novelty ones, is really fun. So I've done the, the color runs where they like they uh, spray you with different color paints. They spray or, you with one of, uh, one of them. They sprayed us because it was too cold for the powder to stick. <laughs> so they <laughs> have like powdered paint that they normally, usually throw at you. Normally they use powdered paint. Um, but the reason the powdered paint sticks is because you're sweating. Okay, and all it right. was so cold. <laughs> and it was such an unathletic event. No one was actually sweating, even in that. Court. That one was in St. George. Okay, all right. So all right. at one of the the marker points, they got creative and put it in. They mixed it with water and put it in and sprayed and sprayed. <laughs> and that was like miserable. Yeah, I suppose you know. You're like, Here, it's freezing cold. Let me spray you with some colored water. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. not selling these five Ks very well. Not very well. No, no, definitely. <laughs> um, I also did the hog and jog in St. George, which was really fun. <laughs> the hog. And jog. You get bacon. Oh my! <laughs> you <laughs> bacon on a five k. Yes, you get bacon uh, at the beginning, and then there's like a bacon checkpoint in the middle. <laughs> you know, I kind of like this up. idea. Not making this up, and then at the end, you get more bacon. Oh my! It's oh my. the hog and jog. <laughs> the hog and jog. It's like hog and dos. But yeah, they should but... do the hog and dos. Why not? You get bacon <laughs> and you get ice cream. Yeah. So so five k's can be a lot of fun, uh, <laughs> especially the novelty ones. Texas is taking it to a new place. Um, if a 5K sounds a little bit too ambitious for you, uh, there is a city, uh, Bernie, Texas. Bernie, Texas. Is it related to Bernie Sanders? No, it's no? spelled completely differently. Differently. Okay, all right. We're just just checking. we got to make sure. It's They're sure. having a 0.5K. A 0.5K? <laughs> like zero. Point five I, wait kilometers. A minute. So, so how many miles is that exactly? That is 0 0.3 miles or a little over one lap around the track. So basically you could just fall out of bed and, hey, I'm done. We're good. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just gets, wanted to verify that. It gets better. It, oh, okay. It gets, right. It's not just a 0.5K. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's 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 specifically geared towards underachievers. Underachievers. Underachiever. Is, is that like an actual thing? Like people are proud to be underachievers? I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's so so this event is taking place near San Antonio. Uh, it's it's going to be on May fifth. So coming out pretty quickly here. Um, and j they're they're raising. It's a good cause. They're raising money oh, for a charity. Okay. Okay. Uh, the charity is called. Blessings. So they're being lazy for a charity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Basically. All right. Okay. Um, but it's still for a charity. Well, then, so yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, the charity's blessings in a backpack. 
Um, and I, I believe that uh, they provide food on the weekend for underprivileged children. Oh, nice. Who might not have enough food at home. Okay, well, that, so, that, that is, at least it's for an honorable Super cause. good cause. Definitely, yeah, definitely. super great cause. Um, but <laughs> they really wanted to set that bar low for, <laughs> for anyone to come and join. Is that like the high jump where it's just the curb or something? <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is uh, this is the most underachieving five point five k point five k. Remember, this is a little over one lap around the track. Uh, <laughs> everyone's gonna get a participation medal. Participation trophies. Everyone's gonna. You get know a- how I feel about participation. I trophies. know you do. Uh, it's terrible. The terrible. the race. So 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 similar to the hog and jog. <laughs> this this point five k will start you at the beginning with beer. <laughs> Wait, you get beer to walk? You get beer. All right, you know what? I might go to this. Halfway, you get more beer. (laughs) Wait, at the halfway point of 0.5K, you get beer. And then, at the end, you get more beer. So you don't even make it once around the track, you get three beers. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't beat that. You do make it a little... You make it a little over once around the A track. little over once, yeah. Well, that's there, if you make it. You get the three beers. By the time you're done, you just kind of fall over and go, yep, I'm done. They're also going to have a bagpipe player. Wait. <laughs> a bagpipe player? I'm not kidding. Oh, no. A bagpipe player. Um, and and <laughs> if all of this walking and beer drinking sounds like just too much work for you, <laughs> for for uh, uh for, for a little over one lap. Uh, I'm afraid to ask. They've got a special VIP pass. A VIP pass for 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 the actual people that are walking the point five. No, this is for people who don't want to walk at all. The VIP pass will drive you along the route in a 1963 <laughs> Volkswagen bus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this is this 1963 bus? Possibly, uh, possibly hot boxed out with smoke pouring out of the windows while they're following the beer drinkers. Here. I mean, I feel like that would just complete the whole thing. It, it sounds like it. It sounds like it. <laughs> oh I want to go do this five. I can't call it a five k. I keep it's wanting a to point five k. A point five k. <laughs> a point five. So there is hope for you, non-athletic people. <laughs> you can go to Texas this weekend. Well, and, apparently uh, everything is bigger. Except for the five Ks. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's right. That's yeah, right. Everything's bigger down there. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay. So you get you get three beers for walking around the track. Yes. If you're really feeling motivated, you get to pay to be driven around in a VW bus. Yeah. That's probably going to be hot boxed and playing carnival music as you watch the people going around the track. Yeah. So I really the thing that I want to know. But it's for charity. But it's, it's for, for charity. charity. So the more ridiculous it is for charity, the better. Better, right? yeah. All right, okay. There's a, there's a twenty-five dollar entrance fee. You know what? I'd pay to watch that. I would. That'd be yeah, pretty I funny. I would go. Yeah. I would go. I'd be in the. I'd be in the VIP bus. <laughs> you probably would. No, too. I would not. It's a VW bus. You love those That's things. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I'd be real torn. Sure. Now, you know, can the 20- they like pick me up halfway? <laughs> <laughs> like at the first beer stop? Like I'll walk to the first beer stop. <laughs> And then pick me up in the bus. All right, all right. I see. So is this is this twenty five dollar entry fee? Is that to participate or to watch? It's to participate. To participate. Okay. Yeah. Does it cost to go down there and watch the uh, the? Uh, it doesn't activities? say. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess no. I don't know where okay. exactly okay. they're holding it. I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know if they're holding it like at a track or on a road somewhere, a small stretch of road. <laughs> Like Maybe a hippie museum. Four hundred feet of road. <laughs> Four hundred feet of road. Yeah. Walking around in circles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure where exactly they're having it. Uh, all right, all right. But participating is only twenty five dollars. And if you want to ride the Volkswagen bus, it's an additional twenty five dollars. So you got to pay extra. Yeah, it's for, the VIP pass. <laughs> VIP passes are always extra. <clears throat> extra for the microbus. All right. All yeah. right. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend, if you're looking for something to not do, like to if you don't want to do anything at all, <laughs> go be in this point five K. You're even you'll even get you know how um like uh marathons and half marathons, they give you that little oval sticker that says like thirteen point Okay, more. okay. You get one for this, a little oval Are, sticker. You're serious? Yeah, I swear. Oh man. <laughs> Participation <laughs> trophies and you get a sticker that tells to you how put far on you your, to put on your vehicle well, to tell people. At least it's for charity, right? <laughs> so, yeah. It is. And it is yeah. and it is for a good cause. I, yeah. I, I think it would be kinda of funny to watch that. I think it'd be hilarious. I mean 
I don't think it's going to be a very long event because it's like... Well, no, it's a point five k. I mean, unless maybe maybe they do one person at a time. You know, oh, just kind of roll that it would up. be forever. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's like the tortoise and the hare at this oh, point, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Apparently, Lois has something to say. They also have donuts. Oh, oh there's donuts? There's donuts. You got beer, donuts, and a microbus. What could go wrong? I... <laughs> Sounds like a perfect weekend to me. All right, then. I'll do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to pay extra? I don't know. Maybe if, pay the entry fee twice. I was going to say, yeah, you got, you got 0.5K. Yeah. You got a half a K walk. <laughs> and then you're like, well, I want to do it again because I want some more beer. You got to pay $25 again, right? I'll do a 1K. Yeah. yeah. But, but I'm just saying because then they're raising more money for right, charity. Right, exactly. You get more beer and maybe you get another sticker. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and a donut. They got yeah, done it. Yeah, I'll register again and I'll go through the first time and then I'll plop on a fake mustache. <laughs> and be like, go in disguise. I am a totally different person. I want to do this race. <laughs> you know, now that Lois brought up that there's donuts involved, I wonder if that's just for the microbus uh, participants. Maybe it's part of the VIP package. Yeah, you know, you get the munchies with the hot box and microbus. I mean, really? Just say. Really? <laughs> <laughs> for 0.5k. <laughs> it could be some tiring Literally work. You never know. Point three miles, <clears throat> not even a mile, not even half a mile. Not even half a mile. Yeah. <laughs> a Although when you say it's point five k, it, it sounds, sounds it sounds better. It does know? sound better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It does. So yeah. so point five k going sounds on more official going on this weekend <laughs> <laughs> in uh, Bernie Texas. <laughs> not related to Bernie Sanders. No. Okay. No. Right. Definitely. So you did say it was spelled differently. So I'll give it you is, it. For it now. is. Yes. All right. Yeah. And if you do manage to go down there, don't forget your tennis racket. Yeah, for the big giant. That's our PSA. The big, yeah, big giant bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, so we have uh, we have a half uh, a half k charity. What else do you What else do you got there for us uh, today? There. So pizza fairy. A, a pizza fairy. <laughs> I love that. I really am going to wear my Pizza Fairy crown tomorrow. Well you, well, you got kiwi on your head. I know. So now we now you got to have a, a crown. Okay. Sure, I'll wear tomatoes tomorrow. Maybe. Tomatoes? To go with the Pizza <clears throat> Fairy crown. But they don't, well, you don't usually put tomatoes. I mean, you can people on a pizza. Put, yeah, people put tomatoes well, on I know, pizza. but I'm just saying, traditionally, you have to wear the sauce. So you're going to have to have, like, little blobs of sauce on the side Ew, of your head. No, 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 no. Well, I don't own marinara sauce earrings. Well, what about like little packets of marinara sauce then? They don't come in packets. They come in little cups. Like little plastic. Okay, so you can wear plastic cups on your head. No. No? Okay. All right. No. I'll wear tomatoes. Well, I'm just trying to be helpful here. I'll wear, I'll wear tomatoes tomorrow. Okay. All right. Is, is what I'll wear. And my pizza fairy. Crown. And your pizza fairy crown. Okay, yeah. so everybody hold her to that. Just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh, forget. Also, um, so you were talking about May fifth because that's when the the half K charity is going on. <laughs> also on May fifth, coming up here in Page, Arizona, we have uh, the uh, the Lake Powell Cruisers oh, Association yeah. going on. They, they've got the car show, the cruising Lake Powell. Yeah, the cruising Lake Powell. They've got that going on at the park oh, on the fifth. Nice. And I, I've never missed a year. Yeah, it's I've a been lot of fun. Here as well. Yeah, they they got a lot of really cool cars out there. It's a lot of good time. You know, yeah. a lot of fun. And uh, we should be down there uh, actually covering that, yeah. I believe, live nice. as part of actual news coverage versus, uh, you know, the morning show or the morning cup. Here. Does that mean I'm not invited? <clears throat> oh, I suppose you could come. <laughs> I might show up and make some funny comments. Well, there you, yeah, you could probably do that, yeah. <laughs> so for anybody funny. that's interested out there, if anyone wants to sponsor LPNN's cover, live coverage of that event on the 5th, yeah. Just drop us a line. You've, we've got contact information here on the Facebook page, uh, lakepalnews at gmail.com. You can send us an email. If you're interested, let us know. Yeah, that would be that would be really awesome. Yeah, I think it could be fun. Yeah. I've had a lot of people that are like, wow. They're like, well, you, you do all this new stuff. How do you get paid? I don't get paid. I, I, I do this for free most of the time, but if uh, people sponsor, eh, it might actually co- cover the cost of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> that way we're not doing yeah. it in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, I feel like the lighting is probably not as good out there. Uh, probably not, no. Before, Especially in the wintertime, like before the sun comes up. <laughs> we're going to be broadcasting in the dark. I've got flashlights. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Just turn on the flow. The fl- 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 wow. Blah, blah, blah. Words yep. are hard. Yep, she's the crashing. <laughs> she's crashing and burning. The flashlight. Mayday. Mayday. <laughs> Rewind. Try that again. <laughs> the flashlight on your phone. Wow. There it is. All right. Flashlight I'm on the phone. I'm just going to stop talking now. Well, you can't do that. It's part of the show. You're supposed to talk. <clears throat> just saying. All right. 
I'll talk. All right. So, what else do you have for uh, for us there today? Well, I thought uh, I thought we could play a little game today. A game. A game. I don't do games. Yeah. Well, you're gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> yep. Apparently, or else, I'm gonna play a game. Or else we're about done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, that's that's like our options. You're gonna. All right. All right, all right I, I see where you're coming you'll from. Yeah. Play a game, or we're we're out of here. All right. All right. Because <laughs> this is this is the last uh, thing that I've got. The last thing that today. you've got. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let, lay it on me. What do you got? All right. We're gonna play. Would you rather? Would you rather? How, wait. Would you rather? Okay. What, what kind of game is this? <laughs> Would you rather is where I give you two choices okay. of ridiculous things. Okay. Uh, obviously not real scenarios. Okay, Imaginary, so like ridiculous scenarios. Yes. Okay. All and right. you pick which one you would rather have to live with. Ooh. Oh, well, that could be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. I've got three. Three hard hitting. Okay. Would you rather questions. All right. What, what do you got? Here's your first one. Would you rather... And I want, if you guys are watching us on Facebook or wherever you're watching us, you, I want to see your answers here too. Would you rather have 100 spiders yeah. that followed you around and did your bidding? Oh, and did your bidding? Oh. Or, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Uh-oh. Or a single wolf that follows you around but only listens to you on Tuesdays. Does he bite you the rest of the week? No. Doesn't bite you? He just behaves himself? He behaves. But he only does your bidding on Tuesday. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> I mean, I love the wolf thing. It's amazing. But so many more people are terrified of spiders. Do you have any idea what you could accomplish with that? You would be like the ruler of the free world. Because... You would. You'd be like the best mastermind criminal ever. He would be like the supervillain of all time. Your arch Spider Man. Your arch Wait, nemesis. Have one of those. <laughs> your arch nemesis would be contest control. <laughs> Oh, that's no. your, that's your, your, I could see a, I want to see that comic book. Like, yeah, do you know what? That, the and Spider get, Whisperer. Uh, what's his name? Nathan Fillion could be Con Pest Control. There you go. And Nathan Fillion, for anyone who doesn't know, he was uh, the lead character in a show called Firefly, and he's been in a, what was it, what's the other one? Castle, is it? Yeah, Castle. Yeah, he's in Castle. So he, he's played in a couple other funny roles that are similar to that. I think he worked good as a Con Pest Control guy. I think, I, yeah. That could you see it? He totally like... That would be hilarious. I think so. I think that'd so, be, yeah. That would be great. So, yeah, I think so I... So, which one do you want? Do you want this? So... Okay. I'd have to go with the spiders because it just... I mean, like I said, I love the wolf and I'd much rather have that. But when it comes down to actually getting stuff done, I think the spiders would really give you an edge. I don't know. I think I would go with the wolf. I feel like spiders are... They've got the creep factor. Oh, yeah. And there's a hundred of them. So, that's a lot of spiders. Well, you didn't say what kind of spiders. Yeah, I'm going with... What, what if it's one of them crazy Australian ones that can, like, kill a bus with one bite, you know? I mean, they take down birds. All right. Those things are, like, this big. That's not what I was picturing, and so that might change my answer. But I was just picturing, like... So, a uh, 100, 100 spiders... Uh, I mean, I could, I could maybe step on like 20 of them at least, you know, if you were, say you came at me with a spider attack. But what if they were like, like the camel spiders or the Australian uh, funnel spiders? Like I said, those things are the size of dinner plates and they are lethal as, as all kinds of get out. I mean, they bite you, you're dead. If you look at them, you scream and run. I mean, either way, you're, you're kind of got just, problems. I I don't want a hundred spiders following me is what it really boils down to. <laughs> I don't want spiders anywhere near me. Um, it looks like, let's see here. Oh, Lois says, where would the spiders sleep? Right? I, so, so I guess that would be a good question. Do they sleep In on you? In your bed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I can pull that one off. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I, I, Lois is saying something we can't understand her, so we're going to have to bring her closer. What's going on there, Lois? <laughs> she, she ran away. away. She ran away. She, it was the spiders. They scared her off. I don't know. I like oh, the uh, Let's like see. We, we have someone. Oh, we have a comment here. Uh, From uh, earlier. Okay. We, we missed it. We do apologize for that. Uh, Hi. He says, good morning. Good morning back at you. It's nice <laughs> to see you out there. Is, is that what you're talking about, Lois? All right. <laughs> I suppose we got to look at the comments more Every often. once in a while, yeah. Yeah, they pop yeah. up. And there's that whole lag thing, so... Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's not, like, in real time or anything. Yeah. yeah. All right, so if the spiders were sleeping in bed, you'd have a problem with that. <laughs> I'm, I, yes! You know, and I suppose... I live in a twin-size bed. I don't want spiders. <laughs> like, there's they, barely enough room for my cat. They would just cuddle with no. you. No! <laughs> <laughs> you... No, take it back right now. <laughs> 
the giant I, hairy legs nope. just touching their... No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't hear you. Hey, you're the one that brought up the game. I'm just taking it to the next level. My Reality wolf, here. My wolf was going to eat your spiders no, on Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, but 100 camel my, spiders are taking your wolf out, I'm telling you. My wolf. <laughs> I wouldn't like it because oh. I love the wolves, but man, God, a hundred of those spiders. Uh, I just you, think it would be really cool to have a, a a wolf companion who follows you around. Absolutely, I mean, and that would be amazing. See, my my approach would be you can catch more flies with honey. Mm-hmm. Uh, is you're like scaring people with your spiders. I'm the cool wolf girl. People are gonna like me and they're gonna want to do what I say. Right, you know, you got a point there. But see, more it, charisma. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play this out then. So you've got a wolf that only listens to you on Tuesdays. Yep. You didn't say he wouldn't bite other people. Okay. He's, this he's, is a wild wolf. A, no, he's people a pacifist. Like, oh, look, he said you didn't say that. It's not specified. I mean, it so was someone's going to come up and pet it and lose an arm. To be fair, <laughs> the original question wow. said it was a pacifist wolf. I just took that part out. I, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe that I at don't, all. Paul, you, Why would you leave that out? That's terrible. Because it didn't seem Because I was already playing that out in my head. Now it's it like, matters. On Tuesdays, now he lessens. The rest of the time, he destroys the house. He eats your neighbors. <laughs> 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 I mean, come on. We don't know what's going on here. I'm still not being followed around by 100 spiders. I don't blame you. It's I wouldn't not, like it either, not, except for the whole supervillain aspect. Not Seriously. happening. Right. No, right. no. No. All right. Are you ready for our second Would You Rather? Oh, okay. So is right. your, your official answer, is it spiders? Yeah, I'd have to. I'd be a super villain. I'd be the worst one. Mine like, is wolf. I have one. to go wolf. No, I don't my blame official, you. My I could totally go that way. It's just, wolf. it's super villainy. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right, so our second Would You Rather question. All right, go ahead. Okay. Would you rather have a 30-second sneeze attack hmm. after every time you laugh? Oh. Oh, that <laughs> sounds horrifying. Or... Huh? You have to wear sunglasses at all times for the rest of your life, no matter where you are or what you're doing. Sunglasses. In the shower, sunglasses. Sleeping, sunglasses. I'd get a fedora and I'd wear a black suit. I'd be one of the Blues Brothers. No. I'm wearing sunglasses at night. There it is, right there. I'd be a Blues Brother. Call me Dan Aykroyd. I'd be fine. <laughs> what if it's, you're, you're going to have no night vision whatsoever. I'll get used to it. You can't and you drive. didn't even say I couldn't drill holes in the lenses so I could see. You can't. You can't. Glasses. That wasn't part of the original It is deal. now. Oh, it's you part of it. You cannot alter the sunglasses. You know what? I'm cool like that. I'll you're just never, be one of the Blues Brothers. You're never driving at night again, ever, after the sun sets. <laughs> That's not true. I could see. No, with sunglasses on? Yeah, we'll just get really bright lights. <laughs> and shine them directly in your face? No, and other people. <laughs> yeah, you get, like, you get like 20 billion candle power headlights that melts the paint off of cars at 100 <laughs> yards, and you'll be fine. They're getting completely fogged up every time you shower. Yeah, it'd be annoying. You're but they do have that anti-fogging stuff you can use for diving masks. Yeah. So you can put that on. They'd be all right. All right. Yeah. And besides, you look cool. At night, wearing sunglasses. I don't know. There's a line where people, if you're like, you're in a, you can never go to a fancy restaurant again. Why not? Because they would be like, sir, I need you to remove your sunglasses. Yeah, but you can be cool like the Blues Brothers and play it off. I'm telling you, this could work. I... You could totally pull that off. I don't know. I... I mean, I... I could clearly not choose the sneezing after I laugh because I would never stop sneezing ever. Exactly. Your head would fall off. It'd be terrible. (laughs) I laugh all the time. So I I have to choose the sunglasses, but I'm not happy about it. I'd be happy about it. I don't like it. Hey, man, when life gives you the lemonade, you make, or the lemonade, yeah, right? It's the morning (laughs) show. When life gives you lemonade, you're already a step ahead. Yeah, pretty much. (laughs) Then all you got to do is add some vodka. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> You're, you've got to put the same level of effort in as these people at this .5K on Saturday. Well, there you go. There you go. And it, and this one's not even for when, charity. When life gives you lemonade, <laughs> drink it. Pretty much, yeah. That's what I said. Add some vodka. You'll be fine. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. All right. I've got one more. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? One more question. Would you rather... Only ever be able to smell a peanut butter and jelly sandwich all the time. You, okay, so you're, you're just going to be stuck smelling a peanut butter and jelly Forever. sandwich. Forever. Does can't... that mean there's like one taped to your nose? No, it's just, you. it's a disease. So like a dysphagia kind you're of having, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're having, right. Your okay. brain is malfunctioning. Okay. And uh, it suddenly tells you that there is a nearby peanut butter and jelly sandwich everywhere. Okay. You go, no matter what. Okay. And you can't smell anything else. 
Okay. So, like, you lose your sense of smell except for a constant peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, like, somebody that works at a, at a sewer plant, they can't smell anything anymore because they've gotten so used to that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But you never get used to it. You always so are aware. So, it's always, oh, that, yep. that'd be kind of annoying. You're always aware of the smell of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, okay. Or, you always are hearing the faint whimper of an elk at all times, no matter what else you do. The faint whimper of an elk? Yep. Like, you can hear other stuff, okay. but in the background is always. Now, that would drive me crazy, but a lingering always. smell or a lingering sound, that's what it boils that's, down that to. Is, that's exactly what it Oh, that's to. terrible. <laughs> can you smell other stuff other than the peanut butter nope. and jelly? It's just that. Just peanut butter and jelly. Forever. Always. Well, you, you could become one of those sewer workers then, because you wouldn't even know. Be like, oh, this smells yeah. great. Hey. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Really, uh, yeah, you could do the stinky jobs and yeah. wouldn't even bother you. Yeah. People would think you're insane, but you got superpowers. You yeah. got a superpower. I only smell peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I wouldn't like not being able to smell anything else, though. Yeah, I, like I smells. agree with you. You but, like go in to sniff a flower and it's just peanut butter and jelly. I mean, like peanut butter and jelly is not a negative smell. I don't really particularly care for it myself. But it's not but, like, you know, no, poop. No. It's not like... Yeah, it's not like a sewer plant worker. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're not like... Smelling. Those poor guys, you know, they, they get used to the smell. And some of... You know, I watched an interview with some of those guys one time. And apparently one of them, he got so used to the smell, it actually smelled like hamburgers to him. Like like restaurant hamburgers. Ew. Yeah, what? I know, right? No. And so what the heck does a, does a hamburger smell like? Isn't that strange? I, oh, yeah. That's a good but, question. But, I mean, you know, you find a way to adapt and overcome. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, it, that is a really hard question because I, I have a hard time hearing anyway. So if I was constantly hearing something in the background, you say, and you won't get used to it, right? No, no. I have something that might help you make your decision. Uh, oh, oh no. What do you, what do you got? What do you I, got? I pulled up a YouTube video. Can, can we get some audio here? We can get audio, And yes. then I'm going to tell you the title of this YouTube video. Give me just a second to pull it up here. All right. We don't have to watch it. We just need to listen to it. All right. Oh my. <laughs> 10 hours of elk sounds. So this is an elk whimpering, I take it. Yes. All right. Yep. All right. You, you got shush, let's, I'll, I'll hit the play button and see if the sound comes through. So this is the sound of an elk whimpering. Would you rather hear this or smell PB&J for the rest of your life? Can we turn that up? Uh, it, well, it is up for, for our watchers there. <laughs> That is horrifying. Let me see if I can turn it. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope. There we go. There it is. Like a trumpet. Yeah, that's elk sounds. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm peanut butter and jelly nope. in it. <clears throat> I agree with you. You know, at this point, yeah, I would definitely have to PB and J that because I can't hear well on a normal day. So having to listen to that, people, well, I don't know though because. I can't hear anybody anyway. So they'd be like, they start talking to you, and, and you'd you be like, just you just smile and nod, like I have no idea what you're saying to me. You sound like an elk. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I really want to know, um, this video that we pulled up. Nah, huh? it, it ten hours <laughs> of elk sounds. <laughs> I couldn't have any less. Right, right. It well, has... you know, maybe some people listen to it like a lullaby and it puts them to sleep. Who does that? Uh, apparently somebody. I mean, it's 10 hours of elk sounds. It has 12,747 views. So apparently somebody. Well, you know what it is. It's random people like you clicking on like, What does that actually sound like? I'm going to listen to it for 10 hours. Do you know, I had to do a little bit of searching to find... Uh, elk sounds really you actually had to search well because the question said whimper and uh there's no not really a youtube video yeah, that's more of a bugling See, yeah it depends on which sound you're actually listening to there's yeah. the there's the the bugle sound they have a throat sound that they make they, yeah. they make all kinds of weird sounds so uh yeah. so there's 10 hours of it uh for you today you're welcome uh, no I'm, I'm good I, I do appreciate it oh apparently lois has something for us here what would you got your would you rather oh, oh no you can't look at those oh all right all right <laughs> Oh, you've got some would you rather questions. All right, so was that my last that one? Was your, that was your last one. That was my last one. So which one. one are you picking, though? I'm going with the PB&J. Because right. if I ever go hunting, I'll think they're everywhere. and Yeah. yeah that would be bad. Yeah, I think I'll go with the PB&J as well. Yeah, I definitely. Agree. I'd rather definitely. smell peanut butter and jelly. All right, so All right. Lois has given me some would you rather questions <laughs> for you. I'm ready. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm ready for this. Question number one. Would you rather be able to 
Make any imaginary thing become reality by just drawing it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Or make any real thing disappear by drawing it and erasing it. Oh, no. <laughs> How much does this ability depend on my skill at drawing? Well, I'm going with it doesn't. You could draw a stick figure. And, well, look at that. You got and a like, stick figure boyfriend. I mean, what? there it is. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. A little stick figure. My mind immediately <laughs> went, like, I'm going to be drawn more than a stick figure if it's going to be my boyfriend. Oh, well, that's my artistic ability. But, I was just, you know, no, relative. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I, what if I drew, like, a stick figure and put, like, a name over it and then erase the stick figure? You know what? I would go with this is like death artistic note. ability. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, I go with artistic ability doesn't matter. It's the okay. intent behind it. We'll go with that. Okay. So which would you rather have? The ability to take anything from reality or bring it into reality? I would want to bring things into reality. I'm going to create all sorts of fun things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. I agree with you. Hi, see, Mario. Oh. We, got a, we got a hello. Oh, hello, Mario. <laughs> Good to see you out we're, there. We're playing Would You Rather. Yes, yes. So I, I would have to agree with you. Um, you know, I love bringing things to life by, you know, putting that kind of life out there. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think on the positive thing, oh, we have to make this thing disappear now because of whatever. Well, you know, whatever it is. I mean, you know, it's an annoying person or something. You pull up a machine gun, you know. Well, yeah. I'm just saying. You're just drawing machine guns. Well, well, okay, well, he's walking along and all this. I'm it'd be like sure. cartoon land. You could put a, a manhole with no lid on it and he'd fall in that too. I mean, the possibilities you, are literally endless. You would have to get a little more creative, I think, than a machine gun because I think laws are still in place here. <laughs> For now. But imagine. I could draw myself my own Supreme Court justice that would make it legal. <laughs> I'm like, just saying. You draw a little stick figure jury, like exactly. They'd be like, "Yay!" No, <laughs> hey, no. that's what it says, right? Too. I, I like that. I like. <laughs> you can solve problems by creating new yeah, solutions. Yeah, I would. I think I would rather bring things into existence. Yeah, definitely. My mind, I mean, I was like rainbows and sunshine, and like of course you're right. And... The pizza, the pizza fairy, rainbow and sunshine. I mean, she's wearing kiwis on her head. I mean, come <laughs> It makes perfect sense. Yeah, it yeah. Does, it does, so, it does. yeah, I would create. I would create things. Definitely, I, I totally agree with you on that. Rather one. than erase them. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Are, are you ready for your next question? I'm ready. Would you rather be the richest person in the world? Dun dun dun. Or be immortal? Oh. <laughs> I already know what I'm doing on that one. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna be the richest person in the world. You're gonna be the richest, and and why? Why would that be? Um, because being, I feel like being immortal wouldn't be all it was cracked up to be. I feel like. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, okay, I, we have to, we, I, I want some, some, some specifics here. If I'm There's an no immortal, I know, well, you make <laughs> them up then. If I'm immortal and the world blows up, mm -hmm. what happens to me? Am I floating in space forever and ever and ever Pretty and much, ever you better start ever? swimming for Mars, man. <laughs> That doesn't sound uh, fun to me. However, I what are to... the odds that that's going to happen? No, I well, eventually, eventually, something. right? But I'll no, still be here for it. But if you plan ahead, you're fine. Make yourself I... a little spaceship. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'd have the time to learn how to do it. See, I've got the complete opposite on this one. Would you rather be the richest person in the world or immortal? I'd rather be immortal because life is what you make it, and you could do anything you put your mind to. Because you've got all the time in the universe. Right. So, you you know, the planet blows up. Well, maybe you, uh, you've you been around for a long time and you've picked up Batman-like abilities to be able to plan things out. Why? Because you've been around forever. So, you're just smart. And so you got contingency plans that you've had time to carry out in advance. It would okay. almost be like you were psychic or something. People would be like, how did he know that was going to happen? Well, he made a plan f about that about 2,000 years ago. That's fair. That's you see what fair. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I don't know. I think eventually it would be, well, it would be sad to watch everyone I love die. There is They that. would grow old and die. That's true. Um, and I don't know. It would. Uh, I feel like it would get lonely after a while. I feel like you probably wouldn't be able to tell people that you were immortal. That's right, the kind of thing. Right. That's the kind of thing you can't really share. Because you're going to... I, I, I could gonna, see it, right? You could create some kind of superhero league or something. I don't know. I'm make it work. Maybe, and then they all die. 
Right. And but, then you're okay. still stuck. And like, so, you have to like well, yeah, keep yeah. doing this whole cycle all but, over again. Literally everyone you will ever love for the rest of your life is just, you're you're outliving all of them. Kind of like what happens to Superman. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, that does happen. However, if you go on the flip side of that, well, you've got all this time to plan and think and everything. Maybe you can figure out the secret to immortality and give it to your friends. And then everybody is going to live forever. And then when everyone lives forever, no one lives forever, right? That's, I mean, really. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you can't have everyone living forever because babies are still going to be being born. No one's ever, we're going to run out of space. What, no, you're not. You expand. Create a galactic <laughs> empire and a Death Star, and we're good. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. And the Death Star could take care of the overpopulation problem. Yeah, I'd rather have <laughs> lots and lots of money right now. Lots and lots of money right now. Because you can also do a lot of things with money. For example, if I... Well, if you're immortal, you could have all the money you wanted. Well, right, right. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you get both. Eventually. Well, if you you're still, smart. I mean, come on, you got the Batman smarts. Why wouldn't I'm, you be I'm rich? going for the instant gratification here. Instant gratification. Instant, all right, all right. If I had the and basically an endless amount of money, um, I wouldn't have to work anymore, and so then I would have all the time in the world for the rest of my life to do exactly what I wanted. So what would you do? You said you wouldn't have to work anymore. I actually I, enjoy doing a oh, lot I of like, work, and I, like I have work. a lot of hobbies. So what would you just do? Like sit there and watch TV all day? No. Okay, all right. That's a good thing. I would no. no. Well, we just have to check. I would travel. You would I'd travel? I would go everywhere. All the time. Nice. I would probably never stop. <laughs> <laughs> I would, Get I would, yourself an airplane and just around and around, well, you know? First, I'd go all over the United States, nice. and then I'd go all over the world. And then I would learn how to fly an airplane, uh, oh, all and, right. and yeah, Why not? make a rocket ship basically. There and you then go. I'd go to space. Speaking of rocket, there was a guy that made a steam-powered one uh, a few weeks ago. He launched himself. He had a hard landing. Was it, he he thinks the Earth is flat, and so he was trying to prove it. Yeah, it, it, it was interesting. I mean, hey, to each their own, right? All right, we have we have one more question for you there, uh, all Becca. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Would you rather? Have infinite knowledge or a working lightsaber? Infinite knowledge. Easy. Ah, you got it. Think about this one. Infinite knowledge. Infinite knowledge. Okay. Your life is the most boring thing in the universe. You know absolutely everything that could possibly know. Nothing is new. Nothing is exciting. You uh. never have an adventure again because you know it all, literally. Or a lightsaber. Uh, a lightsaber. I, what am I going to do with a lightsaber? Start chopping people up? You're asking the wrong questions. What can't you do with a lightsaber? <laughs> you could intimidate people. I don't want to intimidate people. When you're watching Star Wars, you could... I mean, come on. I don't want to accidentally chop my TV in half. Well, you could be. A, you could almost be a superhero. Almost. I mean, I... I don't know. Besides, you could just show off your lightsaber to people. It's a lot of responsibility. And then I have to worry about it getting stolen for the rest of my life. I have to, like, spend the whole life protecting it as if it's as if I'm Gollum and it's the ring. Okay, so people the, well, are going to want to steal it. That's true. You know what you could do? Good morning, Renee. Okay, oh, we, uh, <laughs> we have a good morning. Renee, oh, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Sorry, we got to look over here more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go with this, though. You were going on the infinite money thing, you know, the richest person in the world. Don't you think you could possibly be the richest person in the world if you sold that lightsaber? Wait, no, you're on the wrong question. <laughs> no, I know, but it says... Would you rather have infinite knowledge Not or yeah. a working lightsaber? If you had a working lightsaber, you could sell that thing and be the richest person on earth. If I had infinite knowledge, I could build my own lightsaber. You could, but you'd be and so have bored. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be so bored. No, what would be the point? I don't think I'd be bored at all. I think you're wrong. I think Boy, it's having... infinite knowledge. We don't. Right. We'll go right. with. I mean, how would you play that out? So having the knowledge on how to do something mm -hmm. is completely different than actually experiencing it for the first time. Okay. I suddenly know how to fly planes. That doesn't mean I'm going to be bored by hopping in an airplane and flying somewhere. Okay. Right. I'm not going to be bored by that. I've never done it before. So we'll go with it's not precognition. So there are so okay. many things uh -huh. that I don't know how to do that if I suddenly knew how to do all of them, You'd be trying to do all of my them. world would just expand in such huge ways because I wouldn't have to... Uh, spend all the time studying and learning and practicing and I would be able to have the knowledge on how to do something and having the knowledge on how to do something is not the same as having the skill to do it. So uh, I would good still point, have good that have learning. And, right, yeah, okay. it would still be new and exciting. <clears throat> I would just know 
how to do it. If we're going with that perspective on it, I would agree with you. Totally, I'd pick the infinite knowledge. Yeah, because then you could do anything, yeah. and you could still experience it and have fun. And see, when I, immediately when I saw the question, I'm going with, you just know everything. So what, what's the point, you know? Because there's still things you haven't, just because you know everything doesn't mean you've done everything. That's true, that's true. Well, I do know everything, <laughs> and I still haven't done it all. You're so, so humble. <laughs> so humble. Hey. You know, I'd say it's hard being me, but I'd be oh, lying. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, that, so, yeah. that's, that was my last question I had for right. you there. I'm definitely going infinite knowledge. Inf- yeah, I'll agree with you on that one. Although a lightsaber would be awfully cool, but we could still make one. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. have the knowledge on how to make Although, one. Although, wouldn't it suck if the key ingredient in the lightsaber was on a planet in, like, the Kalium Galaxy? And then you know it. And yeah, then... you know it, but you're <laughs> never going to be able to get that thing. <laughs> Do you know, I wonder, I wonder how, like, you could even use this infinite knowledge for, like, for so many good things. You oh, could, yeah. You could go to uh, a police office and instantly solve all of their cold cases. Nice. Like, yeah. I know exactly what happened and who did it. You would... You would know everything. You would, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know what? You could have people pay you for your services. Yeah, exactly. Because otherwise you'd be completely swamped and you'd never be able to live in our normal life. I'm suddenly the world's best detective for cold cases. Uh, well, no, it doesn't even have to be cold cases. It have to be cold cases. Just not precognition, right? We, yeah, we're no, not going no with precognition. No precognition. Yeah, we don't need any uh, of that kind of nonsense. N- <laughs> uh, but yeah, you could, you there, your possibilities would be so endless that you could spend the rest of your life doing new things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and never run out. Uh, Renee says lightsaber. <laughs> that was my first choice as well, but I talked she, him. I talked him into. Yeah, well, we talked about it, and as long as the the knowledge was the way we discussed it, I think that would actually be better. I really yeah, do. I Although think. a lightsaber would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I just I can okay. you imagine road rage with that? You just no, take- <laughs> You're, I am klutzy. Rock, paper, scissors? No, I got a lightsaber. <laughs> I am klutzy. I don't need to be in possession of a lightsaber. And you, you make a good point there. I yeah, am very. I'm like practically a pacifist. So what? What on earth am I? But I like really cool way to chop my sandwiches. Like pretty much. I mean, hey. <laughs> but I'm also cutting the kitchen counter in but half because I'm really, a klutz. But they're also really pretty and, they are, and colorful yes, and nice. That's true. Can I be purple? Sure, why not? It didn't say what color. You can have whatever you want. <laughs> why not like rainbow fluorescent sparkles? Oh. That'll cut through anything. I think you just changed my mind. See, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I would still go with the knowledge. Yeah. See, oh, lightsaber interrupt us. Oh, apparently our stream got a little interrupted. It. That, oh, yeah. well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so uh, that is uh, pretty much all we have for you today. It yeah. is May Day. And, uh, oh, don't forget on the 5th. Is uh, the the uh, Lake Powell Cruisers the yes. car show in the parking lot, or not the parking in lot? The park. The park. City, city <laughs> it's still park. morning. I'm waking up. What can I say? <laughs> city Park. Yeah, at City Park, they've got that going on. If uh, if somebody out there would like to sponsor LPNN's live coverage of that, well, we're here. Just yes. give us a holler. We've got our contact information right there on the Facebook page. Thank you very much for joining us yeah. for the Morning Cup Behind the Hat edition here. We'll see you again tomorrow morning. Yeah, and I'll see you guys probably sporadically throughout the day. Yep. We've got uh, we got the clamps in for our sign, so I've got to go get some more hardware so we can put that up. you got to get another squeegee. No, not squeegee. <laughs> no need to squeegee. Hey, she's making fun of me over here. I don't know what you're talking about. i got to get some hardware, some bolts, some screws. Uh, hold on. Apparently Lois has something to say. Mario actually has a would you Oh, rather Mario has a would you rather for oh, us. Oh, Mario says, would you rather be a Dracula or a werewolf? I'm going with Dracula. <gasps> A hundred percent, because I've actually thought about this a lot. And we'll have to go into it uh, on another day, but definitely Dracula for me. How about you? I don't know. Uh, and I only say that because I know I, I've done extensive research yeah. on on history and, okay. on, and, on, and on mythology and stuff. <laughs> and a real true vampire, ask some, ask some nastiness right there. They're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> I, I'll have to think about it. Yeah. Which, okay, so I'll tell you what. We'll, t- we'll do that tomorrow. We'll be our would you rather. <laughs> okay, oh, <no>. so Mario, <laughs> we'll get back to you on it tomorrow. We'll write it down. Renee. Not more so. Yeah. Not more shopping. That's uh, how I read more, that in my head. Shop. That's yeah. how that's Not more shopping. No. 
I know it, it is horrifying. I apologize, but it is necessary, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Aww. So we'll catch you guys. Uh, well, she'll see you guys tomorrow on the morning show. I'll see you sporadically throughout the day doing who knows what. And then tonight for the nightly news. Shopping. We will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. And uh, see yeah. you later. See you later. Yeah. <laughs>